Thank you very much. Let's take our seats. <clears throat> Your Excellency, Right Reverend Monsignor Hubertus Van Megan, the Pope's representative to Kenya. Your Eminence, John Cardinal Njue. Your Graces, my Lord Bishops, members of the clergy, religious brothers and sisters, dear Kenyans, good afternoon. I'm Jambo. To Msifu Yesu Christo. Wana Yesu Asifiwe. It is a great honor to be with you today as we gather to take part in a momentous event which underscores the profound role of faith, faith-based leadership, and faith-based organizations in fostering ethics and integrity in national service. This event also underlines the role of faith in strengthening patriotism, deepening national unity, and mobilizing citizens to selflessly undertake good causes. For this reason, the Episcopal installation of Right Reverend Wallace Nganga Gashihi as Bishop of the Catholic Military Ordinariate of Kenya is more than a routine change of stewards. We are here to witness and to celebrate the contribution of moral leadership in reinforcing unity, resilience, and strength for our defense forces. We are here also gathered to affirm our confidence that under Bishop Nganga, the military ordinariate will continue to provide our soldiers with essential spiritual support. Recognizing the high trust vested on the Kenya Defense Forces to defend the sovereignty and territorial integrity of our nation and to the significant physical, moral, and personal challenges faced by our men and women in uniform in fulfilling their mission, we cannot deny or underestimate faith as a critical source of strength, pillar of motivation, and a basis for enduring resilience. Our presence at Bishop Nganga's installation underscores our commitment to support our forces in every way, including the provision of spiritual and pastoral sustenance necessary for their well-being and for their duty. In Kenya, we acknowledge the supremacy of the Almighty God of all creation, and therefore the recognition that protection of the freedom of worship is a fundamental constitutional guarantee. Like other fundamental rights and freedoms, it is freely available to all, including those who serve in our defense forces. Every soldier's right to practice their faith can only enable the KDF to maintain greater levels of discipline, not only because of faith, and not only because faith is an effective organizing principle, but also because we worship and serve God who brings victory, abundance, and success to our nation. To ensure that our defense forces remain strong in every way, including physically and morally, faith-based support structures like the military ordinariate are critical in nurturing the values and organizational ethos that guide our men and women in uniform. 
they allow our men and women to be brave, to serve the nation, and with distinction to undertake their responsibilities while staying true to their beliefs. We live in a highly dynamic world where faith and moral values are under constant challenge from skepticism, moral relativism, religious extremism, and even terrorism. Our institutions, communities, and nation have never required a solid ethical and spiritual foundation as they do today. Bishop Nganga's strong spiritual leadership enables our men in uniform and women to navigate their challenges guided by faith, grounded in integrity, and service for a higher moral cause. Throughout the life of our nation, the partnership between the state and religious institutions has been a cornerstone of our nation's strength. The Catholic Church is among the foremost of our partners and continues to complement national strategies to serve citizens in many sectors, including education, health care, and provision of psychosocial and pastoral services. I was particularly impressed when the Secretary for KCCB said the Catholic Church believes in support for the poor and vulnerable in our society. Because that is the essence of humanity to be able to serve those who are underprivileged. Build on mutual respect, tolerance, and moral uprightness, this partnership anchors our society. Today, we honor this enduring partnership and express our gratitude to His Holiness, Pope Francis, for Bishop Nganga's appointment, which strengthens our military's spiritual standing. Bishop Nganga, I didn't know you served in Mauritania. <laughs> or so it was said. But let me say this, that The military leadership, the generals here and commanders, and myself will continue to modernize the equipments and other facilities and capabilities for our military as we prepare chariots and horses. Because the Bible in Psalms 20, verse 7, says there are those who put their trust in chariots and horses. We will always be careful to remember. And please remind us, Bishop Nganga, that that same verse says, but we trust in God. So that even as we prepare the capabilities, the chariots and horses, we be reminded that victory comes from God. Let me also say to the military commanders, officers, and servicemen, that it is my prayer that as you undertake 
the responsibilities of protecting our nation as you serve humanity in Kenya and elsewhere around this world. A service that you have provided with dedication and professionalism that the words of Matthew 5 9 shall be your portion that the sacrifices that you make to protect our nation to keep the peace the words of Matthew 5 9 that say blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the children of God that in your sacrifice in your commitment in your peacekeeping that you shall be honored to be the children of God Bishop Nganga receive my warmest congratulations and the best wishes of the government and the people of Kenya as you take over this responsibility to look after the spiritual health of our military ordinariate. Your leadership will be vital in guiding those who defend our nation. And I'm confident that under your guidance, the military ordinariate will remain a source of strength for not just our brave men and women in uniform, but their families and to all who work with them. Even in this moment of celebration, let us take a moment to remember the many heroic men and women whose selflessness, courage, and moral strength inspired them to dedicate their lives and work to the service of our motherland, and especially those who made the ultimate sacrifice in line of duty. Let us honor their memory and gratefully acknowledge their contribution. May their example serve to inspire us to do more and better in the service of our country. May they rest in eternal peace and may their families find comfort in our respectful recognition of their noble sacrifice and honorable service. May the Almighty God bless our new bishop as he takes over the ordinary. And may God bless the Kenya Defense Forces and our great Republic of Kenya, a country we so dearly love. Thank you very much.